booktubers and welcome to my channel today i'm coming up to you with a short review of my louis vuitton bag tonnel size pm it's in a monogram canvas print with a beautiful red leather this bag is also available with monogram and black leather i chose red because i wanted something that was a little bit outstanding but still really sophisticated and elegant which this bag is in my opinion First of all, we are going to take a look at what fits inside so you get an idea. And then afterwards, we're going to look around the wear and tear. This bag is almost 11 months old. For the first eight and a half months, this was the only bag that I used every single day. So this bag has been through rain, through sunshine, through snow. And even though I have wiped it off, there is no sign of that at all so it's in really really good quality in my opinion so let's start the zipper to this bag is really smooth so it's really easy to open and access and if we take a look inside you can see easily that it fits a lot more than you probably think when you just look at it and this was also something that was really important to me because when i purchased this bag i for a long time thought that this was going to be the only bag that I was going to own from Louis Vuitton for maybe the next 10 years. So let's start. First of all, it fits a little cosmetic pouch. Then it fits another Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire. And then I have my key holder. From Prada which I also by the way have a review on on my channel if you want to see it also fits my agenda size mm and let's see it fits my capucine's wallet and let's see here I have another small little cosmetic pouch and then I have another larger cosmetic pouch and then I have just a shopping bag which is quite good to have with you so this is what fits inside and I could probably fit a little bit more if I would store it a little bit more organized but for being such a small bag which it is I do think that it fits a lot and then also I have some things in let's see sorry I I needed both hands to do that because the bag now has nothing in it, so it moves around quite easily and here I have some napkins and a little bit of everything this is how the bag looks at the back and at the from the side and it has four feet on the bottom and it's sewn together here and i was a little bit afraid at the beginning that there were going to be tears on the corners but i have not noticed to be honest with you any tear at all and i have been looking out for that and the canvas on the whole has held up really really perfectly uh, and like i said i have worn this bag through rain through snow all of that things uh, the strap that comes with the bag it's reversible so you could either wear it with the red side out or with just the canvas monogram print and this is a really really smooth strap uh, it's I have a speedy in damier ebene and that strap or bandolier is a lot harder than this one this is really smooth so when you wear this bag and if you pack it quite full and it's heavy it does not feel heavy on your shoulder at all and you can wear this as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody bag because this one is long enough the strap uh, I'm quite petite I'm 1.53 centimeters 
but I have seen a lot taller people wearing this crossbody, so it is possible. If we look at the metal, you can see that there is a difference in coloring. Not very much, but you can notice it. So I do think that this is going to be exactly like with the speedies that you will be able to notice that the hardware that's attached to the bag will change color meanwhile this one it's exactly brand new it looks like it could have come from the store yesterday there is no wear and tear on the zipper it works smoothly both this one and this one uh, there is actually no scratches on metal hardware except like i said you can notice that this has also changed color a little bit that was something that i was aware of i mean we can do i mean it is questionable whether this should happen on such an expensive bag but i knew that it that that was a possibility so that's just something that i learned to live with the only wear and tear that I can actually say that I can find is on, you can see here on the letter, and also a little bit here. I do have noticed that if I wipe it really carefully with like a baby wipe, then I can manage to take almost everything away. So I have done that once, but this for me these tiny things they are really really not a problem because i do think that once you use a bag there will be a little visible wear and tear so something that shows to me that the bag is something that has had a life together with me and the stamping is still in perfect condition as well there is no wear and tear on the gold. The same goes with the stamping on the inside of the bag. The camera probably won't be able to catch it, but I, I checked at it before and there is actually no wear and tear on that one either. And there are two compartments here. I usually keep my phone, in which I am actually recording right now, and I do keep my key holder in the other one. And then there's just one large compartment in a beautiful red micro line. So this is a bag that I really do recommend for everyone who wants a practical bag which isn't the Speedy or the Neverfull or the Alma that you want something that is a little bit special but it's not really something that you feel oh this will just last a season or two. This is a classical bag and when I want to dress down, I tend to wear a lot of black, like a black jacket, black suit, and then this just looks sophisticated and elegant. And if I'm a little bit more like I want color, then I could actually wear red or some other color because it blends in beautiful. It's a bag that people will see. It is visible, but it's not something that won't be suitable for certain occasions. I think that you could wear this pretty much to any outfit and it will blend in well that was all for me for this time i hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more videos and more reviews from me then please hit that subscribe button i would be really really honored if you do that i wish you all a wonderful day take care bye bye